Hello, my name is Emma, and I recently watched the new Spider-Verse! Finally! I feel like I was probably the last person on Earth to see this movie, but hey, I saw it. The movie is a hit, obviously. I think it got like a 96% on Rotten Tomatoes, and um, it was really good. It was a little more complicated than the first one, but I really liked it. There was a few times I was like, Wait, hold on, what, wait, wait, hold on, go back, go back, what, wait, what? Because I'm stupid, okay, I'm just dumb. It was a lot to take in. It was really good, though. With the new movie, there's been a resurgence of spider sonas. Also, if you look at spider sonas from 2018, I think it's interesting that there's a particular look that they all have that just screams that era. Some people know what I'm talking about. It was just the vibe at the time. It was, you know, the end of the 60s. Not saying that the art is bad or anything, just saying that it felt different than it is now. I feel like everybody is on this level where they're just doing the most and that kind of time a lot of people had more simple art styles is what i'm trying to say not in a bad way pretty much in a good way me personally i adapted to that and i did not have it in a good way but you know what are you gonna do anyway i knew i wanted to make a sona i never did it in 2018 so this was my chance i know some people treat spider sonas as self inserts while some people treat them as completely separate ocs mine will kind of be a mix of both but i feel like everybody puts a little bit of themselves in their ocs or characters also spoiler warning this video will contain spoilers so if you haven't seen the movie yet be warned i had to avoid everything because it's everywhere right now okay so i love clowns and i don't think i've discussed this on this channel yet i don't know what it is about them i just think they're really fun and there's something off-putting about them but they're also very nostalgic to me i used to be really scared of them but now i think they're really cool and i like the aesthetic that they have i don't know if anyone else feels this way but i think clowns are delightful i find clowns delightful I knew I wanted a clown motif, and you'd think it'd be pretty easy combination, but you'd be wrong, my friend. Spider-Man's design is a very less is more approach on pretty much every aspect. If you want your character to look like it could really fit in that universe, their design has to be pretty simple. There's a couple exceptions to the rule. One example that comes to mind is Spider-Punk. He's got a very complex and more complicated design, but the complex Complexities all lie in what he's wearing over top of his suit. Same with Previtor. Sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong. You look at his design and it's a little more complicated than the normal Spider-Man, but he's mostly wearing clothes over his suit. The spider suit is very minimal. It's always minimal. I didn't really realize that until I started trying to design something. Something as complicated as a clown can really muddle the Spider-Man look and you lose that simplicity and sleekness. There's ways to do it, people have done it successfully, but I wasn't achieving what I wanted to do. My idea sketches looked a bit crazy and I was having a hard time until I looked up different kinds of clowns because maybe I could pull some inspiration from that. And then it clicked for me. Mime was such a perfect fit with mimes being super recognizable. It wasn't hard to implement and combine it with the spider manness. <laughs> You know, the beret, the mole, the clown makeup, the striped shirt, the suspenders. That's really recognizable and that really helped me get, get, get going. And unfortunately, I did the thing where I draw one idea and stuck with it. But I really like this spider suit. I feel like she's pretty good. Maybe I could have worked through it, but I, I was really attached to it. I know that's really bad to do. You should run through ideas, but oops. I at first had more downturned eyes on the suit, but then I realized that wasn't right at all when I looked at other spider people. They all have the upturned eyes no matter what, really. It is a defining feature of Spider-Man that I just overlooked. As much as I wanted to go with just downturn eyes. I couldn't go against the grain. My spider Sona is French, of course. Oui. Look, I wanted her to be goofy. I think it really fits the vibe of the this universe. So yes, parts of her are a walking cliche, but that's the fun in it, okay? That's the fun in it. Another addition, which I don't know how unrealistic this would be, but now that I think about it, there's literally a Leonardo da Vinci mention. I think 
everything's on the table, to be honest. I want her universe to be set in Paris in the 20s. I don't know how people would react to a Spider Woman in the 20s, but I guess Spider Noir exists in the 40s, so I think it would work. I also picture this character not speaking in spider form and rarely speaking in her civilian form, only to people she trusts. Who can relate? Who can relate? Who remembers that? I haven't decided much about her backstory. I know there's a preset spider backstory that we learned about. I don't know didn't think that deep into it. I mostly picture her running around inserted with the other spider people at the moment, but maybe I'll come up with something. If y'all have any ideas, please let me know. It would be really helpful. I tried replicating the style of the movie and the movie's concept art the best I could. I'm not too good at replicating styles just because I haven't done it a whole lot, but I think this first illustration turned out pretty good. I referenced this image from, I, I think it's from the concept art of the second movie. It's pretty similar, but it was very helpful. I don't know if there's a canon spider mime or if anyone else has made a mime spider Sona. I didn't look it up in case I stole ideas from them. If there is, um, she's from a different universe, people. I gave her a classic 20s short bob, and I think she looks a little like Betty Boop but a lot more angsty. I imagine her to be a bit older, maybe mid to late 20s. I know, kids here older than 25 and it's immediately old, old, old. But I didn't want her to be a 15 year old, so. Spider-Verse is putting too much pressure on literal <laughs> babies. I guess maybe because I'm older now, but God, Miles is 15. That is so young. Oh my god, I haven't named her yet. Okay, let's. Fifi Clément. Fifi Clément. <laughs> Fifi Clément. I love it. Thanks, Google. For Fifi's powers, I went back and forth. I have a couple ideas for her webs. I want them to be completely invisible. They work normally, but you can't see them at all. So it's like, is she a spider woman or is she just a really good mime? I also envision her to have some kind of force field ability, like how mimes get stuck in a box. Then I started thinking about other possibilities around miming. What if she had an arsenal of different vehicles and weapons at her disposal by just pretending to use them? Like they're all real, but no one can see them. Now, this is a really cool idea, but the thing is, a, this doesn't really have to do anything with spiders, and B, it might be crazy overpowered. Then I started thinking more and thought, what if she could only mimic what she sees in front of her? So if somebody had a car, she could also mime a car. If a bad guy had a gun, she could mimic that gun and fight back with it. To add another element, using this power is very draining on her, so she would have to pick and choose where she used it. And the bigger the item, the more exhausting it is for her. Like if she was driving a truck, she can only do that for a very short amount of time compared to just using a little gun. So it's not too overpowered. Might play around with that a little more. I still don't really know what it has to do with spiders, but I'm sure I'll come up with something. Her personality is probably a little withdrawn normally. She is very isolated and doesn't have a lot of people close to her. She comes off very cold to people, but as Spider Woman, she is a lot more lively. I know spider people are supposed to be quippy and sassy with a lot of one-liners, but since she doesn't talk, her body language carries that energy, and she can be quite annoying to people. I'd like to imagine she just pops up places out of nowhere and scares people. I think that's a funny idea. And... <sighs> All right, let's get this out of the way. One of the big reasons to put a self-insert Sona or OC is to romance some of the characters, right? <laughs> <laughs> I've seen a lot of people making fun of others for shipping themselves with characters. 
which is just unnecessary. I'd say if they're not hurting anyone or being malicious in their actions, there's no need to comment on it. And making fun of people's harmless enjoyment of things is really icky to me. If me cringe, you cringe for taking the time to make fun of others. Honestly, just scroll people. It's not that hard. Anyway, I see Fifi. <laughs> I see Fifi and Miguel having a very interesting dynamic. If not romantic, I see them as becoming close, okay? Let's just go with that. Close enough that she might begin to talk to him, but their relationship is complicated with the barriers that they both put up. I just like the idea of it. I just think it's a funny dynamic. Don't bully me. Would Fifi be on Miles or Miguel's side? I think she'd probably be pretty torn because she's probably gone through a bunch of horrendous things, so if she could prevent pain, she would. But she also had become very close to Miguel, so who knows? I hope you guys liked all the artwork I did. This was a ton of fun to do, and I hope you liked their design. If you have any questions or suggestions, let me know in the comments. I tried to do as much art as I could for this to really flesh out her character and give her- give you a little taste. Alright guys, thanks for watching. More videos coming soon. I have a lot of things planned. Anyway, like, subscribe, and as always, peace!